Hey guys, what's going on? What's up? Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. We are just going to pretend that this is not the sixth intro I've been recording because nothing is on my side today. Hence why we are not downstairs in the beauty room. Don't even want to talk about the lighting situation. But anywho, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome productive start to the week and I hope you had a great Easter. I'm super excited for this video and I kind of can't believe it's already here because we are going to be talking about my final results in the 12 week cut and shred that I've previously been doing. If you're already a subscriber, you know the past 12 weeks I've been putting up full days of eating. Um, I'm also sharing like workout clips. I've been super active on my Instagram story trying to walk you guys like through my workouts and really document the cut that I was doing. Um, if you've I've also been on my channel for so long, I've been on a fitness journey and like really trying really trying to overcome the mental aspect of everything. I think more than anything, you guys know I really used to struggle with binge eating um, and having really wanting to like lean down and feel best in my body from a place of love because I love and appreciate myself and I, I wanna live at the healthiest version of myself possible and have the most energy to be the best mom. Um, I tried to lose weight so many times in the past from a place of hate because I thought I was fat and ugly and had cellulite and was unworthy of a relationship or love or anything based on how I looked. And looking back that, it like brings me to tears. It truly makes me really sad, even though that sounds corny, because having a negative self image and really drowning myself in the binge eating ruined me for so long. So for this past like year, I would say I've been so much more on a better mental track and I've just really been trying to like document all of that here on my channel with you guys. I know so many of you follow me for the health and fitness and like weight loss content. Um, so I wanna keep you up to date on everything that I'm doing. Yeah, this past 12 weeks I was cutting. Um, I ended up losing 10.2 pounds as of my weigh in yesterday. I'm 10.2 pounds down. Also, you know that I really effed up my right shoulder about seven or eight weeks ago. I had to have an MRI and I couldn't really lift upper body at all. Um, so being as strict as I could on my macros, I did go out to eat sometimes and try to like work that in as well. Um, I was working with my coach Leah, who you guys know I've been with her now over a year. Um, and she has been so incredible and so understanding with my injury. She wrote me some home workouts that I could do when I really couldn't like lift upper body much and just had a few really solid talks with me again about breaking through those mental barriers and believing that I am worth it and helping me over my plateaus. And like, she has been truly a blessing in my life and I've never seen someone so invested in like the well being of their clients. I know I mention her a lot, but that's because I truly, truly believe in, in like doing the act of kindness of sending business someone's way when they're really hardworking and they love what they do. So I know so many of you have signed up with her or you've like followed her on Instagram. She also lost 45 pounds herself from home without ever stepping foot in a gym and all of her workouts are 30 minutes or less. So she knows how to get in shape if you're on a time crunch, on a budget, and you don't even wanna to go to the gym. So it's pretty cool. She, She's just amazing. So she gave me my macros and my calories for the past 12 weeks. Yeah, if you haven't followed any of my previous fitness stuff before, I'm almost 5'8", I believe. Everyone always asks me my height and I haven't measured in so long, you guys, just to be honest. But I, I'm pretty tall for a girl. I think I'm almost like 5'8". And my highest weight was 214. Um, today I weighed in at 176 and I'm still trying to get down to around 150. I am not stuck on a specific number, but I just know my body and I think I'm gonna feel the leanest at about 25 pounds less to just like, not for like bikini prep or anything, that's where I wanna really like maintain for life, uh, where I think mentally, uh, physically, internally, and having the most energy and also feeling like I look my best, I think that'll be a good like maintainable weight for my height. Um, so I'm actually going into another cutting phase. I'm doing a new program that Leah's coming out with called Lean Like Leah, which is a 12 week program with the custom macros and the workouts. I believe she's launching that like Wednesday or Thursday and I'm gonna be starting that. So stay tuned on my channel. I'll have another fitness video up at the end of this week and I'll let you guys know my exact plans for my like 2.0 cut because I'm documenting the whole thing here on YouTube. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys as well for all the encouragement and positivity on Instagram, on my previous fitness videos on my channel, my meal prep videos. I know so many of you are on your own health and fitness journey and that's a huge reason why a majority of you guys follow my channel. So to see my meal preps, to see you guys like making my meal preps in your own home and stuff, it's really cool. And I just appreciate that you are supporting me and following me along on my journey. It really, it really does mean a lot. And I do really definitely still try to read through like every comment and I just want to make it known if you take time to watch or time to comment or just support me on my journey overall that it's so appreciated so you guys are freaking amazing please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you have the notification bell hit because we all know so many of my other YouTube friends um, their videos are not in the subscription box YouTube is all messed up with their notifications so I'm gonna be starting my summer shredding series I believe Thursday so make sure that you are set up for the notifications here on my channel also in this video I wanted to share with you guys a bunch of fitness favorites I have clothing over here, shoes, hats, 
It's been a while since I've done like a dedicated favorites video anyways, but I get questions on Instagram all the time of what shoes I'm wearing, what pre-workout, just anything that I use on my fitness journey that I feel like has helped me. So instead of doing a separate fitness, like a favorites video, I'm gonna include it in this one. So let's get into everything that I've been loving. All right, so first up we'll do like hats and clothing because I get asked all the time where I get like Adidas and Nike stuff. Again, if you've been on my channel a while, I like to find some like designer or like higher end brand items, but I always get them on a budget. I never pay full price for anything. I feel like I'm a very like budget and like savvy shopper. I love Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any of like the discount places. Like I don't have any shame shopping there. You can find really cute stuff. So a lot of you have been asking about my Adidas hats when I post on Instagram. I wear these two a lot. I believe they were only 11 or 12 bucks. This one here I found at Marshalls. And just for comparison, if you go on like the Adidas website, these are like 30 bucks. So it does, it definitely saves you a good amount if you're willing to take the time to kind of look through the stores and find some that you really like. This blue one fits really nice. But yeah, these were super cheap whenever I'm doing cardio and I really just want my hair out of my face. I've been wearing these a ton. I also get so many questions on my Adidas. Um, two of my pairs of Adidas are one thing that I'm willing to spend a little bit more on since I work out every day and I want to have like the proper support. Um, so I do spend a little bit more on those because working out and getting healthy is such a priority in my life right now. That's something I will spend a little bit more on, but I still try to find like super budget friendly, like workout apparel and clothing when I can, but sometimes I do have to pay full price on the shoes. But these were actually on sale. These are from Puma. I had never actually seen this exact style till I came across it in Marshalls. I didn't like go out looking for this style. I never saw another person on Instagram like wear these or anything. At my store, they had this tan color and then they also had light blue and these were only 40 bucks. So they're super cool. They kind of remind me of the NMD a little bit, just the way that they have like the sock material right here. They literally just like slip on. Um, these wouldn't be too good for cardio though because the bottom here, once you put it on, feels a bit heavy, like it's weighing you down a bit. It's kind of a weird feeling. So they're super cute for like picks and stuff and for light lifting, but I would not wear these for cardio. These I would wear for cardio. These are the Adidas Bounce. I've had these since January. I wore them to the LA Fit Expo for the first time. I was walking around like 12 hours that day and my feet didn't hurt at all. I remember telling my friend Morgan, I was like, I can't believe my feet don't hurt right now. They're another like sock situation type. You just like slip your foot in, it, can, it like forms up um, to your ankle. I believe they sell these in tan and also black. These are around the $80 mark. Then of course, everybody's favorite, the Adidas NMD. I waited so long to purchase these, I did not want to fall into the hype because they were, you know, all over the gram. Uh, and they're super cute, but they're like $180. Your girl is trying to save up for a house. So I am not gonna spend that. But I did spend that. <laughs> I only have two pairs of them. They are so comfy, they're amazing. You can do lifting, you can do cardio. I will just say, they're overpriced. I fell into the hype though. You can definitely find something cheaper. But if you want these exact ones, I thought the pink right here was really cool. They no longer have these on the Adidas website, but I bought them at Kids Foot Locker, and I'm a size nine in women's, and I still fit into a Kids Foot Locker size. So that's something to consider. Oh, it's got like the sock material here, but I, I thought there'd be a tag in there. Um, I wanna say, Shoot, let me find out what size I got these in and I'll put it below. Also, I'm going to link everything I talked about for my favorites here down below. I will link everything. This video isn't sponsored in any way, uh, but if you use my links for anything, I'm always extremely grateful, so please just know that, but no one's like asking me to like talk about anything. Um, but yeah, I believe the only place you can find these is at the Kids Foot Locker. I mean, come on, they're super cute, right? But they're definitely overpriced because they're trendy and they keep selling out, so. Okay, moving on to protein. You guys know I've talked about First Form products, I wanna say now for like three years, which is crazy. I haven't switched at all. I am obsessed with the CEO and owner, Andy Frisella. He is a genuine dude who puts very, very, so much time and effort into the brand and it's super high quality products. If you guys are looking for anything whatsoever regarding like pre-workout or supplements, I always have a link for First Form. It does save you like eight or nine bucks and you will get free shipping and you'll be supporting me. So again, huge thank you. Uh, but something I really utilized in my cut the past 12 weeks, two things that I feel like made a huge, huge difference. The first is the post-workout protein. And you guys probably saw this in my previous meal prep video. This is called the Formula One. Do not get this confused with the level one. The level one protein that they offer is a meal replacement. If you're on the go, that has all the nutrients, fat, carb, and protein that you need to make up a full meal. This is a little bit lower in calories. It's a little bit of a thinner protein. This is specifically for post-workout because I've been working honestly so hard the past 12 weeks in the gym and I really wanna see the muscle gain and also, but still lose fat. Having a post-workout protein within 20 to 30 minutes after your lift or after your cardio, 
I had tried it before the past few years, but I truly didn't realize how important it is to actually see your results to the fullest capacity. Because if you're working out super hard, but you're not replenishing your body and that glycogen right after your lift, like it's like, what are you doing? Like you're working so hard, but you're not gonna see the full results basically. So this is just the uh, vanilla here. I also have chocolate. I take a full scoop. It is 100 calories and 21 grams of protein. There's also five grams of branch chain aminos, which are key for recovery in every scoop of this. So what I like to do is mix a little bit of coffee along with a little bit of almond milk and then one full scoop of this. It tastes just like Starbucks, but it's so much cheaper. I've just been making it at home because we know I have a Starbucks problem. So I need to stop spending so much over there, but I've just been making this from home. It's amazing. Again, I will have this linked below. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you've already heard me talk about this. This is gonna be the Royal Queen fat burner for women. I truly, truly feel that this has been a key the past 12 weeks in the 10.2 pounds that I did lose. Yes, it was all like my effort in the gym and pre-planning my meals, counting my macros. I really feel like I gave a solid effort, uh, but I have never personally in my experience in the past like three years, and I've tried multiple other companies' fat burners. <laughs> you guys know, I made a video about shreds and they gave me like jitters and it was absolutely horrible, like literally could not, would not recommend you guys anything that would put you in danger. I truly feel like this has been key for me to controlling my appetite and my late night cravings because I'm someone, I'll have like a full healthy meal and then at the end of the night, I'm still like, where the chocolate at though? So I take this twice a day. I truly feel like it helps curb my intense cravings and like kind of like reins in my appetite, if you will. It also gives really good mental focus throughout the day. So I know a lot of you have snagged that on my recommendation. I'll have it, I'll have all these linked below as well. And then for pre-workout, just because I have been working out five to six times a week, I will say I should probably cycle off pre-workout here soon because I do take it so often. <laughs> I need to follow my own advice. I, I wouldn't recommend you guys take it every time, but I have gotten so addicted, honestly, to the megawatt. Been taking it for over two years, and I sweat more than I've ever sweat with any other pre-workout in my entire life, and I have the most mental focus, the most energy, I'm able to do more reps, I'm able to lift heavier weight. The megawatt is literally for when you wanna fuck shit up. Like, it is amazing. The only one I have to show you guys is the strawberry kiwi, but I'll be super honest with you, this is not my favorite flavor. If you're gonna order the megawatt, I would highly recommend that you try the lemonade and the blue raz. Uh, the blue raz I've, I've ordered like six times. Um, and I do, just so you guys know, I purchase all my own products from First Form. I do have that affiliate link which supports me but full transparency I'm not like a sponsored athlete on like a salary with them so any product that I truly like that I repurchase you know I love it because I'm spending my own money on it if that makes sense uh, but this is just absolutely incredible I always always take the megawatt then if you want to try a pre-workout that is not so intense but that will still give you incredible mental focus but has a little bit smaller dosage of beta alanine which is the ingredient that gives you like the tingles I personally like that because I'm in the gym like yeah I fucking got this <laughs> But not everyone likes that and not everyone wants to be up and have like this I'll take in the morning because then I'll have energy throughout the whole day But if you're working out, you know at 10 p.m. Or whatever your work schedule is you don't want to be up all night So skip this save this for like the really intense days uh, But if you want something else, I would highly suggest the alpha Cree HD. This is absolutely incredible It will help amplify your strength and help you to recover after your lift so I will link both of them down below. This is still a pump enhancing product, but there's no caffeine. This is gonna be the real more intense, like I'm here to F it up type of pre. So, and on this too, I always tell people, please, please, please assess how your body takes the caffeine dosage. Take half a scoop the first time you get it, please. I don't wanna be responsible for telling you to like take two scoops and you're like going nuts because it's very intense. I'm so used to it, so I'm fine with full scoop, but Always take it easy, even on this one. It's not as intense, but you always want to assess your body tolerance to the caffeine and the beta alanine as well. So just always take a small dosage, but yeah, these have been absolutely incredible, my favorite for like two years. All right, so I think that'll actually do it. I am super excited for Thursday's video because we're starting my little summer shredding. We're, I think we're just gonna call it that, or like cut 2.0. I'll go into full details with you guys about exactly what I'm doing, so I'll have another video up then. Everything that I mentioned for like the fitness favorites will be linked below, and if you wanna follow my progress a little bit more intimately, I would absolutely love if you would follow me on Instagram. I will share, I kinda share like little physique updates while I'm in the gym, and then the days I don't post on YouTube, I'll film my whole workout and I'll put it on my Instagram story. So I would also love to have you guys over there. Thank you for supporting me through this cut and I hope I will have your support here in the next phase as well. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and like my son says, please ascribe to our channel, ascribe to my mom.
Christian just breaks my heart. Oh, and make sure you guys check out my last previous few vlogs because Christian is all up in them and he's just like taking them over and it's it's honestly the cutest thing ever. But anyhow, I love you guys. I do appreciate you. Give this a like if you're into the fitness content and I will see you in the next one.